talk about swim baits, talk about depth two fifties, nine inch bull shads, eight inch huds, phony fogs, hinkle shads. Uh, that's big bait swim bait fishing right there. Um, the hinkle shads, the pony fogs, the nine inch bull shads, all that. I like to throw it on an 867. That's an ideal rod for me with 30 pound eyes of line, Trans 400. Why I like that Trans 400 is it's a slow gear ratio. It's a 5 8 to 1 gear ratio. And it picks up the same amount of line as a 6 foot on Lexus or a Super Duty or Corrado K or Corrado E, whatever. But this uh, H67 has that big bend to it, kind of like a cranking stick. So that's why I like to throw my treble hook base on it. My 9 inch bull shads, dips 250s, my shuttle tails, um, stuff like that, okay? That's an 867. Has a big bend to it, like a cranking stick. Um, Help that fish stay loaded when you're fighting it. This is a Dobbins 807 right here. This Dobbins 807 is where I throw my weedless battle shad, my uh, 13 fishing uh, weedless swim baits, eight inch huds, my hammer tail shads by Matt Lewis. This is 807 and it's, and it's more of a flipping stick action. It's yeah, it has a big bend, but it's a little bit stiffer than, than, than the A67. See, it has a little bit more tilt. The, this rod is great for jig hooks, some soft plastic, some jig stuff, you know. Well, right here, this is a brand new Dobbins 836 bullshad rod. Uh, it's, Designed for bull shad fishing, it covers the whole spectrum of bull shad. You can throw a nine inch on it, it, it handles a nine inch pretty good. Um, man, you might think I'm crazy, but you can throw 11 inch. Don't get me wrong, you have to lob it, and you, when the fish hits it, you better be ready to set the hook. Um, it handles the eight inch good. You can throw a six inch. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna be a little bit overpowered, but you can get by with it. But you can throw a depths 250. You can throw an eight inch HUD. You can throw the coloration swim baits with this sign glide magnum. Um, depths 250, whatever. Um, this this bullshad rod is half and half. So it got, got some little tilt, but has a backbone. So it's it's best best of both worlds. It lands between the 867 and the 807. So um, I'm pretty excited about this rod. Um, I, I I I'm gonna tell you too, to be honest. I'm thinking about buying three or four more rods with this and um, put 30 pound mono on it. Put 25 pound eyes line and some. Uh, fluorocarbon and put some uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon on it. This rod is so simple. You can almost do your big bait, swim baits with it. Um, it's a very versatile rod for it. Um, like a 795 or, or a 794, that's gonna be a, a small swim bait, like a five, six, seven inch bull shad. Your six inch huds, that's gonna be a versatile rod for that. But, um, this bull side rod, I'm looking forward to get get on it this spring and put it to the test. Y'all, uh, y'all go check it out. Mike Booker, Gary Dobbins, y'all outdone y'all self. Y'all have a good day.